In this video, we are going to see how to automatically get the video URL on Google Sheets using Pexel. So let's say that you have got certain titles in your spreadsheet here, Google Sheets, along with some keywords and you want to find relevant videos with those keywords. You are using Pexel application for the same where you can find high quality images and videos that too for free and copyright free as well. Now what do you want once you have found these links then you want to update your same Google Sheet with the links. How can you do that? For this you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Pexel and then again Google Sheet. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then first create your account by signing up. It won't take more than two minutes and yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So I'm going to now click on sign in as I'm already a user over here. And here we have reached all applications page. So let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. So let's click on this. And now a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is that I have got certain titles in my Google Sheets along with the keywords from which I have to draw certain videos. Now with the help of Pexels application, I'm going to get these videos. Pexels is a provider of stock photography and stock footage. So it can provide you high quality videos that you can use anywhere for free. So now I'm going to name it as automatically get the video URL on Google Sheets through Pexels. Let's click on create over here. Here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger. So as per the title, my trigger application would be Google Sheets where I'll have certain titles. So now I'm going to select Google Sheets over here. So here it is. And now the trigger event, this is the event that will make your workflow run. So it would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL. Basically this is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Google Sheets so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information. I'm going to copy this and now we have to follow these steps to set up the connection. So now what I'm going to do is I've already created this Google Sheet Pexels video links. This is the name of the spreadsheet. It has got only one sheet. These are the column fields, title, keywords, Pexel video URL 1, Pexel video URL 2 and Pexel video URL 3. So once you have created the sheet, now let me write a title over here. So how to automate business processes. Now my objective is to put certain keywords. So let's say that I want a sand timer or maybe I want a clock or maybe I need space. So these are the keywords. You can put as many keywords as you wish to. So with these keywords, Pexel is going to fetch the videos. Now to set up the connection between Pabli Connect and this Google Sheet, what we have to do, we have to go to extensions, then go to add-ons and reach get add-ons. As we click here, we have reached the Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. So let's click on this. And here you can see that this has already been installed on my system. It is absolutely must. So make sure this is installed. And once done, let's close this page. Always remember that once you have installed, you have to refresh the page. It is a mandate. Once you have done that, we are going to go back to extensions and here you would be able to find Pabli Connect webhooks. Once you're here, go to initial setup. Now here you can see that it has already selected the sheet, which is sheet one. And here it is asking me to paste the webhook URL. So this is the same URL that we have just received. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. And here we have to enter the trigger column. This is your final data column on which the data is added. So here my data column would be B. 
right? So I'm going to write B and click on send test. Here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. So I'm going to now submit this. So once we have done that, there is one more important thing that you should remember, which is always remember that you have to go to extensions. And once you have reached Pabli Connect webhooks, this send on event should be checked. As soon as you do that, every time there is an event, so it would be able to send the response. Now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response. And yes, here it is. So this is our title, the name of the spreadsheet, ID, sheet name, sheet ID, then row index and keywords. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my next action application as Pexel. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to, to search for videos. So let's click on this and click on connect. So as we do that here, Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Pexels account. And now to set up this connection, I'm going to select add new connection. And here it is asking me for the authorization key, basically the API key. And you can receive this API key after you have logged into Pexels account. Click on this hyperlink. So I'm, I have already logged in. I'm going to click on the hyperlink and here you have your API key. Let's copy this. Go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Let's click on save. So once done, here you can see that it is asking me for the query orientation and size. Basically here we are supposed to map the data. Mapping means that I have received this information in the previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it here. And why is mapping necessary? Because when I map, it will be able to take the new data for every workflow. But if I have manually written it, it will take the same data for all the video titles. So I'm going to now click here, go to step one, and these are the keywords, right? So I'm going to select this, then the orientation. So let's say it is landscape. You have the option of landscape, portrait or square. Now the size. So again, the current supported sizes are 4K, which is large, full HD, which is medium and small, which is plain HD. So I have selected 4K over here. Let's click on save and send test request. So here we can see that yes, we have received the response. So we have received the video URL. So this is my first video URL. If I take you down, so here you can see that I had, I have received multiple URLs. So this is my video URL one. Then if I take you down, so I have received video URL two and so on. So my next objective is to update the Google Sheet that I have created. So I'm going to select my next action application again as Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And here, this time, what do I want? I want to update the range. Basically, if I take you to my Google Sheet, so here I wish to update C to E range. So every time there's a title, it should upload at least three videos in my Google Sheet. So now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect, and here I'm going to select Update Range Values. Let's click on this and click on Connect. So once done here again, it is asking me to set up the connection. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Once we are here, here we have to again map the data. So se select spreadsheet. So the name of the spreadsheet is already here and the sheet name is also here. Now the range. So for the range, it is C to E, right? It is C to E. So how am I going to write it? I'm going to write C and now the value, the row value. So for that, I'm going to go to step one and here you can see row index two. I'm going to select this. I'm going to put a colon as I'm writing a range and then I'm going to type E again, go to step one and select the row index. So this is how I have to put the range. Remember, it has to be written like this. And since the values, the row index values could be changed, you know, if we have got more titles, that is why I have mapped it. Once done the values. So here we have to write the values. First of all, we have to put a big bracket, then double inverted commas. Now I'm going to go to step two and look for the video URL. So this is my first video URL. I'm again going to put double inverted commas, put a comma, Again, double inverted commas, go to step two. And here I'm going to look for video one URL. So here it is. Let's click on this. Now again, I'm going to put double inverted commas, comma, again a double inverted comma. 
go to step 2 and this time I'm going to look for video URL 2. Okay, so as I take you down, here is the video URL 2. Let's click on this. And now I'm going to put the double inverted comma and close it with the big bracket. So remember that you are supposed to write it like this. Okay, and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So once done, it is saying that the sheet has been updated. So let's go to our sheet, quickly check. So yes, you can see that the sheet has been updated. So yes, we have received the links. This is our Pexel video URL 1, 2 and 3. These are the keywords and the title. So this basically means that this integration process is a success, but we also need to check it in real time. How am I going to do that? I'm going to add another title over here. So let me write another title with keywords. And let's say it is how to stay healthy and fit. And this time the keywords are sportsmen, vegetables, fruits and weights. And here you can see, yes, that we have just received the links as well. So these are the links that we have already received. This basically means that this entire integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect and let's quickly understand what we have done. So the trigger application here was Google Sheets where the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then our action application, the first application was Pexels and the event was search for videos. And the final action application was Google Sheet once again where we have updated the range values. I hope this is extremely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, then you can refer to the same workflow that we have worked on in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.